back, Sean. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner, where I like to pretend like I'm an artist, and I'm here with my husband. We're going to do some art. It's going to be great. That was um, a really good setup, Kimball. I feel like that really sets the stage for your YouTube channel. I feel like we could just caption that and put it on like a little graphic on the on the main thing. You know what? I went over this like six seconds in my head, and I was like, I'm going to do this. Oh, that was good. That was good six seconds. No, actually, I lied. Earlier, we were talking. You know, it doesn't even matter. Today's snack. <laughs> is galaxy truffles smooth chocolate galaxy milk chocolate with a gorgeous velvety truffle center and just look at the sheen on the galaxy oh my lord untwist and unleash the truffly side of galaxy untwist it it's gonna be tasty not sponsored all right open it up not sponsored tearing into it choose pleasure kimball it's not sponsored we didn't even pay full price for this i guess sponsored would be free but whatever look the box is hard to open well, <laughs> uh, that's it. I wanted it to be a clean. Tear. I was gonna give it two stars. Now it's one. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we and looking at snacks. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, galaxy, gal, look, see, you, you did me dirty. You did me dirty. How many more are there? Are there any that are in the wrapper? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, they're they just are. open. They're just they're, they're open. Are. That's fine. That's you know what? You know, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, it's fine. Galaxy, thank you for making it easier for thank me to you, share Galaxy. chocolate. Thank you, Galaxy. We really appreciate it. It's probably like the Halloween can with needles inside. I guess that's good. All right. Really? How many more wrappers we got just chilling up here? <laughs> I mean, I was mad. Well, I wasn't mad. I was annoyingly amused. Now I'm just amused. It kind of tastes stale. Mm. Let me just get these chocolate chunks off my book. Hey, everyone. How you doing? <laughs> well, we have a few people here. Oh, my gosh. Trisha says, the snacks look interesting. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, they have a weird, like... I don't know what the flavor is in the background. It's like old library. Yeah. Or like a library book chocolate. So let us know if you like the Galaxy. I hear Galaxy is like the one that's like up against Cadbury over here. I prefer Cadbury, but that might just be because that's one I've had in the States. But I don't know. I don't think I'll have another. Oh, I will. Okay, good. <laughs> I got to eat the ones. Well spent. I got to eat the ones that were opened. All right. Today, we, I mean, autumn is upon us. Trisha says, hi, I'm on time this week and there's no adverts. Oh. Yay, good. Maybe I'm not making money on this one. That's fine. Um, so I figured spritz a little water on the page, put down some of the lighter tones in the center, because that's where I'm gonna, you know, try and do a face. So I've got the orange, what are the actual names? Fresh orange, lemon sherbet, and tinsel. Incredible inks. These are the original ones. They now look like this. And, you know, you can just dump them out the top, whereas these have little tincture things. But either way, we have someone here I'm not familiar with. It's Hearts Family Art. They say hi. Well, hey, Hearts Family Art. And welcome. And welcome. So these are going to go down the middle. They're going to be diluted a bit with the water. And then I think to have a little more control, I'm going to let that dry. Well, I'm going to dry it because who's got time to let things dry? Um, I'm going to do that, you know, smudgy bludge with the darker colors, which is Frida and Hot Cocoa. And I'm going to kind of do them around the edges. And I just didn't want them to uh, blend in too much. So I want like that splotchy dotted. Look. Okay. These expired in February. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why they don't taste great. Here, have some. I'm full. <laughs> I'm Maybe that's what happens when they go expire. They just pop out of their packages. The package like disintegrated. All right. Well, that was fun. Well, I'm just going to take a sip of my delicious decaf coffee in my new mug. Mm, that's what that flavor is in the background. Mm. The colors of 17. That's right. I found a way to talk about 17 again. <laughs> Good job. No, okay. You know, we're going to, we're going to get moving. Let's get some, let's get some color on the page. And this is also easy because it's like, like it's an easy start because a lot of people are scared of blank, like white pages. So I say splatter down some colors and move on. These also like um, congeal. I'm, I'm not sure why that happens, but sometimes you'll get a little clump of something, something in there, such as that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get Q-tips. You need some? Here, I'll grab them. Oh, well, Rocky's grabbing me a Q-tip. I'm going to add some more colors. 
This is what Q-tips are invented for. Gonna put a little orange around the outside. How many would you like? Oh, I just need like one or two. I'll grab you five. Well, spoil me rotten. All right, there's your art tool. I'm gonna use that to gunk up the gunk. I don't know what these are. I can't. It might be because it. I don't know. You know, I'm not even gonna pretend like I know. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect it. Gonna just add some more water. Get some smearing around. Oh, I'm gonna take this off because I think I'm gonna close the book on this one. I don't wanna. Woo! Get out of the gutter. And just do this, because we're professionals. How we looking? And we're gonna open it like that. Ah, I didn't press it down all the way, and that's fine. So this is the start. I want. This. I see a sleeping horse. Like here's his ears, and then his little eyes, and his little nostril, and his face coming down. Okay, Tina. <laughs> we just watched Bob's Burgers when Tina went to horse camp. <laughs> And she didn't enjoy it that much. All right. Can I just dry this? I'll probably dab up some of the excess just because that's how I roll. But it is fun. It has some streaky stuff. This could be, this is like going to be the background for some leaves. So we're going for texture. I do have a photo I'm going to work from. I'll show you in a bit. I got inspired. All right. Going to dab up some of the puddly. Okay. So you had talked about doing a certain format per month, right? For your channel, what were you gonna do? Oh, you know what? Thanks for reminding me. Yes, it was a good segue. I don't, I don't know how that was a segue. You just kind of started or not talking a segue, about it. But it felt like there <laughs> a natural progression into what you were gonna say, right? Like it wasn't staged at all. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> very natural. We're natural. Um, no, I was gonna just add for the first Sunday of, well, I don't know. Can you hear me loud and clear over this thing? I never yeah. really know how that goes. Okay. So for the first Sunday of the month, I was going to dedicate that to a coloring page or using stencils or using stamps, something where like the art part is kind of done for you or at least helps you out. And then we'll focus more on coloring. Mm. So if that's in, like, if you like that idea, you know, give me a little thumbs up. If you don't like that idea, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun. I, I think like a lot of people... You know, it's fun to watch how people create them. Like, I like to watch people and how they create. But I also think it's fun, like, when you guys can create along with me and, like, a certain coloring book or whatever. Stencils, stamps. And so I think next... I think next week I'm going to do a page out of... I have a Jane Davenport one. Because I've done some of the Camilla Der Dierica or Camilla Derrico coloring books. I'm going to go... I've been trying to find some. I don't want to order them off Amazon because the paper... I can't test the paper quality. And if it's just going to be colored pencils, that's really limiting. But that is why I'm going to use the Jane one because she has some watercolor pages in there as well as mixed media and like um, craft paper and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that, see how it goes. So... Fun. That'll be the first Sunday. I think that's next Sunday, right? And if then, not, doesn't matter. Trisha gave you a thumbs up, and then Hearts Family Art gave a purple monkey with a red cap and a hammer. I approve. So uh, I think that's definitely a yes. I'm just kind of cleaning the dusty bits off of this. I've been doing a lot of painting lately. I'm doing a project that's taking more than an hour, so... You guys. It's insane. You guys. He's like, I'm going to go up and work on the piece. I'm like, who are you? Uh, I probably spent an hour and a half on it. <laughs> I'm going to give you a sneak peek of it. Um, here it's okay. Basically I am painting over an old painting cause it's been sitting in storage for years. I've never put it up. Um, Are you okay. Sure. When you're done <clears throat> on awesome. Instagram, on Instagram, Kimbo gray, K I M B A L L G R A Y. Wow. You're really selling it. I really had to think about how to spell my name <laughs> <It's been laughs> everywhere. All right. That's, that's, okay. that's why you have Q-tips. That spit will be a part of the art. So we're going to add some water. I'm going to try and keep it around the edges just because we want to frame the picture. And we'll do some brown down here. I guess all around the edges. And then we'll do some red Frida. Can you imagine showing a child how to do this? You're like, yeah, but you just put the paint right on the table. Oh my God. They'd be like, am I going to get grounded? Yes. You put it on a splat mat. So spray it out. 
And then I might actually. Oh, yeah, do... you're getting really crazy. I uh, just look at me go. You're I'm... such an individual. I guess. I mean, I kind of can't go anywhere without you. It's terrifying. All right. You did go shopping the other day. Alone. I hated every minute of it. You were fine. There was lots of school kids out <laughs> on the way to school. <laughs> Getting their smoke in before they get to school. I was like, what are you children doing? All right. So we're going to take our book and we're just going to plop it down. What if you just totally missed? <laughs> well, I, I would kind of giggle a little it bit. It looks like I tried to wipe and I missed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, now it looks like murder just happened. I think that was the intention. We call it Cherry Cordial. It definitely got on multiple pages. Is that fine? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we don't mind about that. I need I need a bigger desk. Here, do you want this? <laughs> Here, um, I can hold that. No, I just need that to sit there while I wipe the chocolate off my hand. Let and yes, it does it actually way. smell like chocolate. And then I do want to dab up a little... Because it came on so strong. It's messy. But I also... So is the universe, though, right? That, you know, true. And we're just going to add more water to dilute. But I also want to dry this. I mean, you're really multitasking, Kimball. That's what I noticed today. Yeah. Jenna but, says, don't waste ink. Mop it up with scrap paper. I don't have scrap paper. Kimball wasn't prepared for this moment. Well, I didn't think it was going to be that much ink. But I mean, yeah, it'll just go on the other side of my book when I'm... After this next kerplop. But I do need... Plop it, kerplop, plop, plop. These puddles. Would it help if I held the book so you could do, like, just one page? No, that's fine. Okay. Don't offer your assistance. You have got this. I got something. I I'm got like, chills. They're multiplying. What is this? There's like a puddle of weirdness happening right there. That is so bizarre. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little tiny white dots all over. All right. You're going to have some more nasty. No, I was reading the quotes on the side of it. One. Unleash, untwist and unleash the truffly side of galaxy. Sorry. We're still on the snacks. Oh, I'm over the snack. All right. So, I don't know if I want to go more or not. Got a lot happening. I'm going to try and draw a face in this case. You might lose some of the vibrancy if you go again. Yeah. I kind of want to smear right there. Let's just smear it while we're. <laughs> well, I got a couple dots in. All right, you know what? You yeah, do gonna... that and then just dab it on your thing. This? Yeah, there you go. But then it's like paper towel-y. I guess it does have kind of like a leaky texture. I know, it's fall. It was my idea. <laughs> I'm brilliant. Here, I'll hold that. Thank you. I've got a big old mess right here on my desk. This would be a perfect time for a commercial because everyone's like, wait, what's going to happen? Rocky's going to probably drop it and then ink will splatter all over the floor and then we'll lose our deposit. And then they come back and you're still wiping them out. <laughs> Crying. Disappointment. Crying. All right. There you are. Well, thank you, sir. You know, you've been a big help today. Could I interest you in a random toothbrush? No, I used that earlier on the big painting. Okay, gotcha. And then just cleaning up some of my edges. If I was a better person, I would figure out how to prevent that. But I mean, how can you when you flip a book? I don't know. I can't be invested that much in my art. And one last thing, taking just a squirty squirt bottle. This is kind of drippy as well as a nice uh, misty spray. Are you going to lift some of the paint? I'm going to lift some of this, some of this ink, ink, ink. Darling. and uh, that'll just give us a little extra texture. I'm not really sure where I'll spray it, but I see it coming to life. Just gives us a little extra oomph. It's got something in the background that makes you go, hmm. <sighs> All right. So Andrea says, I made a live. Hooray. Yeah. Hi, everyone. And welcome. Well, we're done. No, welcome, kidding. Andrea, to the channel where Kimball's going to do some art. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna dry this really well okay. because I'm gonna go in with colored pencils and then watercolor. Jenna says she uses Teflon sheets behind pages when playing so ink doesn't get on the other pages. I was gonna do that, but like I was flipping my book upside down. That's and why also, I was like, because I could have done that. I have them. All right, we get it, Kimball. You could have. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, I could have clipped them on somehow, but. I yeah. wonder if there's a way to just do like a sheet that slides on all the other pages, like a plastic sheet that goes around. Well, they have, you know, they do have like book covers that like have, it's like, it comes in like this far so you can shove all the pages into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Let's not do that. No, idea. I'm not super that. busy. I, I like want to just get to the art. Thank you. How dry are we? How dry are you? <laughs> oh, little accident. It's just a little border of autumn. If you look at it from the side, it's a mountainscape. You should draw a little person here with like a little flag, like you're sticking a little stick. Get off my page. Ow, it's hot. You're hot. It burns my flesh. Hot, hot. Are you feeling so hot? I can't believe these still have a scent to them. Sadie says, oh my God, my internet died immediately after saying hi. I hope it uh -huh. stays this time. Sorry, Sadie. But welcome back. Maybe it was like so disgusted by my channel network. It was like, no. It's like, oh God, it. not him it's again. Shut it not down. Not him. Shut down that monstrosity. All right, gonna fat clamp this side. Fat uh, clamp. I don't need to, yeah, I don't need to like do any crazy like move the book around. So we're gonna just clamp. That clamp is so like high school art room. It's not even funny. That or one? like, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. My friend Marcosito gave it to me. When they moved to New York, they <laughs> got rid of a bunch of art stuff. So I got a little bag of art supplies from They me. also gave us a share nesting doll so that as you go through the different nesting dolls, it's like different versions of share. <laughs> It's like and one it's, of the best nesting. It's hand painted too. It's made of wood. Just want to like erg, ergonomic. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my pages to actually go out to the edge because they, they get a little wrinkly when you put all that water on them. It's probably not going to annoy me. I don't know. Hearts Family Art says, I see animals on the yellow ink page dancing in the leaves. So do I. Well, they're going to have their party over there while they see the face come to fruition over here. And the face. I also see a little elf person over there. Anyway, well, sure. Here, there's Rocky opening up the door. Not that you can really tell, Ooh, but that's we what I'm at, saying. We we're at a gas station. You're like, do you want anything? <laughs> hmm. Years ago. All right. So I saw this. Maybe I don't know if you can see it very well. That's cool. And I thought, let's try and draw something like that. So the leaves are done because y'all know I can't draw nature. Yes, uh, you can. Yeah, I totally just not can. in an hour. Yeah, like I totally can. I'm not going <laughs> to show you my nature sketchbook though; it's private. <laughs> wow. Um, but I think I'm going to keep her in the yellow. So, like the it'll be like a red leaf and a brown leaf, like over the top, and then her face will be like in here-ish. I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to look. It was just mostly for the inspiration. We'll see. You sit there while I sit my coffee and think thoughts. Oh, what uh -huh. did you think? Oh, that is nice. Um, I, I was thinking, wow, it's a moment of a quiet moment. Kim and I were talking. We were watching some interview earlier, and they were t we were talking about how, like, when people pause to collect their thoughts, like, what are they think? They're thinking about what they're going to say next. And Kimball <laughs> looks at me. He goes, "Whenever I pause, I literally don't even know what I'm thinking about." I know. And I was like, as I'm talking to you, I really don't know what I'm going to say next. It's just going to happen. I don't know if you're going to like it though. Red, orange, yellow, green. All right, just putting my inks back so I have a little extra space on the table. And Jenna says, hey, y'all, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Also, why am I drawing, or I was painting a 24 by 36 painting, and I was using <laughs> this brush. I don't know. Okay, don't, crazy. I just, whatever, it's working. Was it, so. the was it the background? It's for the entire thing so Maybe far. you just really want to take your time with it. Maybe. I mean, it's, I really haven't spent that much time. It just feels like it, because I have to, like, you know, do stuff. All right. Oh, not stuff. That's oh. the worst. Well, sometimes I'm pretty good at stuff. Pulling out a couple of autumnal colors, a couple of bright flares, a couple of colors you just don't see in nature, like neon pink. Um, let's do like a little gold. I think autumn could use more pink. I think so. I think winter, summer, and fall could use more pink as well. Maybe some browns. Do like a nice brown for some... Eyelashy stuff. Should I throw in some blues just to really make it pop off the page? Oh, I should. I think so. You know what? One of Maybe the first her... colors I ever learned was magenta because I had a Crayola crown box and it was one of the first ones I learned to read. Well, 
I know everyone says like R or not RGB, um, like red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors, but technically I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure that you can make red combining magenta and yellow. So I think it should be magenta, yellow, and blue. But I don't know, don't call me out on that one. I don't really care. Don't come at me. <laughs> don't come at me. Although speaking of Crayola, I did fall asleep with a giant like 78 pack in my electric bank blanket one winter, and then I woke up and they were all melted all over me. So that was fun. I it's mean, like I fell asleep and woke up with color. All safe things. Um, I feel like I need like okay, I need like a darker orange, right? Maybe. Mm. Jenna asks, what did everyone do this week? What did everyone get up to? Any art, any fun crafts around the house? <sighs> Anyone managed. preparing for Halloween? Is that a thing where you are? Oh my gosh, we went out to a restaurant and this couple sat down next to us and I was like, hey, yeah. And they we're were like, very, they were very talkative. They were like, yeah, very chatting it up. And like, that's cool. We're totally fine just chatting with them. And I immediately was like, oh, I know what happens when people are overly loquacious, like with strangers immediately. <laughs> and I was like, something, something going to happen. And then they went, sure out enough. To, they went out to have a smoke and then she came back in. Didn't look very happy. And then I mean, she, but they were fine. Like it yeah. kind of progressed. They went out like three times and every time they came back, they were like more disheveled. Right. And so then after a while, she's like, I don't think he's coming back. I was like, what <laughs> is happening? Uh, so I don't know. They had a fight or something. He anyway, did come back though. But He had two bottles of wine. And by the end of it, I was like, mm. and a couple of beers. And I was like, this is one of the reasons I don't like that. I was like, oh, check please. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we judge each other. I just felt bad for her because she wasn't being treated very well. Yeah. I guess they it bumped, bumped me out. Yeah, whatever. Bumped me out. So anyway, back to art. Back to our <laughs> life. That isn't so scary. <laughs> I was just like, it was so awkward. Like, I don't know. I'm not good in public as it is. So. I think you're fine in public. And it's because I don't have to talk to people. Okay, so... I'm having like wiggy eye moments because I'm looking at this and I'm getting double ring light in her face. That's better. Just hold it up, Kimball. So I might draw her a little bit bigger because I didn't want this to be her full face, but maybe we'll just go with it. Yeah. Trisha nice. says this week I had been getting on with my art class. That's fun. Which art class was it? I've seen the amazing painting that you did. Congrats. It looks awesome. Um, Janice says just got back from my cousin in Germany. Um, so now we'll sit down to give myself a week to unpack my suitcase. Oh my Isn't that just the way though? Um, and then Hearts Family Art says, how is Europe doing? Is Are there power outages and gas issues like the news says? We haven't had any here in, yeah. in England. But also maybe. like, I think that's mostly for, it's like a lot harder for families. Like when it's just me and Rocky, like we kind of live in the dark anyway. But are there, there's not, I haven't heard so, of any gas issues or power outages here, have you? No. Just the prices are crazy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are just not going to be using their power because they can't afford it, Yeah, which is awful. So hopefully, I don't know, they're talking about doing a couple of things to help out. I, I really hope they can. They are giving people a certain amount toward their electric bill. What was it? Like $48 uh, yeah, or something? I 40 know. pounds? I don't know. I don't really know. But it doesn't really help when it, the prices end up being over 600 pounds for a month, though. So Yeah. Um, also, I'm not going for likeness, just the idea. Yeah, just a little reference. It's so weird. I don't feel like I'm going to draw her whole face, but maybe draw her nose there ish. If you're doing like the fading to dark thing, you could reverse it too. So she's going into the dark part, and then the light part could be her coming out. It's an idea. What are we talking about? Oh, well, in the picture, how it's like dark on this side, you could do like this as the dark side here since it's already dark. Versus, like, it's really light over here. Yeah, well, I'm just keeping it, like, the colored parts of that are, like, the leaves on top of her face. Okay, got it. So, your idea is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jenna says, Germany is really fun. The food, not so much, but they always have a sale on art supplies in the stores. That's where I bought my Schmincke watercolors. We had, where were we? We were in Rotenburg, Obdachover, and we had oh my God. such so a good. good meal there. I don't know what I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be like a lot of like worse and like, I don't know. Gravy stuff. I mean, there was a lot of sauce, but oh my God, it was so good. What was it that you had? You had a, um, it wasn't had a duck. A, it was. I had, you had the duck. I had some kind of soup. I don't know, but it was amazing. I was ever so impressed. I need uh, to kind of pop, my head might pop into screen. I just need to see. Not that it's going to be any better, but. Andrea says, um, your coffee looks so good. You're making me want a cup. Just yelled for my hubby to put on a pot so I don't miss anything. And that's <laughs> how we do it. <laughs> Thanks, hubby. 
And you reckon I always like that. I'm always like, do you want coffee? Put the water on. I have had a habit lately where I've been like super zoning out and he'll put on enough water for both of us. And then I'll just not be thinking and I'll pour my water and I'll dump like the little bit left down the sink. He's like, I haven't done my coffee yet. Even while he's pouring, I'm like, don't pour, my, don't pour the water out. Don't pour the water out. And all of a sudden I hear like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, <"What>? seriously? <laughs> like, what is wrong? I know you're preoccupied with I life. I can't apologize enough. That's true. Um, Trisha says, it's the paint your heart and soul art lessons, Rocky. Um, also, today I made some soup with homegrown courgettes. Yum. Also known as zucchini. I appreciate the veggies from your garden. They were very tasty. Not a euphemism. Um, Trisha says, the cat has moved back into the house. Uh, <laughs> I put a painting I did on a frame and it looks good. I squirted myself with red acrylic paint all over my navy t-shirt. <laughs> as one does. And I've been very paranoid while I'm painting because I don't really, I haven't worked on a huge piece of art in a really long time. So I'm like, every time I turn it, because I don't have a lot of space on my desk, I keep like rotating it. And I've only twice, I think, gotten big marks, but I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you have I'm like a painting shirt you're putting on or do you need an apron? No, I do have an, an apron. apron. I have an apron. I have my Jane Dunford apron. I just don't want to get it dirty. Oh my God. <laughs> I just bought it for the looks. I want it to sit in the drawer. It's hanging up right there. Splash of color on the wall. Ah, uh, there it is. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. All right, adding just a little bit of shading. So I'm going to come in with watercolors and do a lot of it. And I'm going to come back in with colored pencils. I don't need you anymore. Thank you, gorgeous person. Thanks for coming. And sip of the coffee. Sip of the coffee, yummy. All right, yum. and now I do have... I pulled out both of these. I do have all three palettes because you know how I am with the Jane Danforth supplies. Oh my but... gosh, your palette looks like the page. Oh my god, you guys. But I do, I bought this one because I love this color of orange. I think it's called Frolicsome. Is that the one? Yeah, Frolicsome. Very gorgeous color. I really like it. So I might do some shading with that. I may actually just use this palette. No, I might want some browns. I don't know. We'll make it up as we go, right? And, oh, this brush. <laughs> Jenna says, I use my, my old Carl Connie shirts. I love, gotta love the 90s, <laughs> 2000s fashion. I have never heard of that brand, Carl Connie. Have you? No, but Connie. it makes me think of Carla and Connie. Connie yeah. and Carla. <laughs> okay, why the throat? Oh my God, I love. If you haven't seen Connie and Carla, you should probably watch that. It's, yes, agreed. it's hilarious. My mom, I, I was like, Mom, let's watch it. She's like, Okay, whatever. So we watch it right, like as it ends. She's like, Do you want to watch it again? <laughs> so we did. That was like, remember when we went to see the original Charlie's Angels in movie theaters, and we we walked out and then just got tickets and went back in and saw it again. And I was like, That was so fun. Let's do it again. Uh. Also, art. How much fun is art? Very much fun. That's how much. How nervous do you get before lives? Very much nervous. Yeah, I think it's more so for the technicality things, like the technical things, because I'm I'm confident in what I'm doing. <laughs> Kimmel reminds me of like an older person. It's like, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses when they're on top of your head? I'm practically. He's like, one. where's the cord for the camera? And I open the drawer. It's like the, the giant cord uh, weaving okay. in and out. He's all the blue one. Well, you came I'm sorry. down. Time out. Can Let's we show? Explain. Can we show what the blue one uh, looks let's like? Let's explain because you came down and said I can't find the cord before I said it was blue, and then I opened the drawer and it was literally like popping out when I opened the drawer. Well, your face. That's okay. I dumped your coffee water down the sink so numerous times. You can have your blue cord issue. All right. As long as I get something. Yes, absolutely. Um, Hearts Family Art says, where are your hubby's modeling pictures you were going to, sh going to oh. show us? Oh, yeah. Do we Now I know why you're here. Uh, <sighs> See, you should not describe them as modeling pictures. They're like, <laughs> they were. I think it's giving the wrong sense. I don't know. You half naked. Huh? You're like pulling your shirt up. You're like, here's my abs. What are you talking about? What modeling pictures are these? Metcalf. I don't remember that picture. You're like going like this and you're holding up a black t-shirt. Was I posing for Tiger Beat? Like Basically, what's happening? Basically, yes. Um, I'm going to mix together some of this orange and some of this. I just want like a darker. I feel like her eyes are giving me like, she's so happy to be under the leaves, but she's really worried there might be a worm next to her or like a spider in the leaves. So I basically put myself into this piece maybe i would never do this all right we're just gonna add some even like jumping into a shading. pile of leaves now makes me creeped out like i wouldn't do it yeah no thank you i've had enough spiders 
we were doing fine. And then I was like, wow, I haven't really seen a spider in a long while. I was like, don't say that. Yeah. Don't well, say that. I had already said it. And then it was like, spider today, spider last night. But at least they're smaller. I can handle that. It's not... And, like, they didn't surprise me. That's what I hate about spiders most is when they surprise me. Or when they, like, are, like, they touch you and they're, like, hey, that's a surprise. That's, like, no, no. This is where you, this is why you die. Some spiders are so big, I'm, like, I know they have vocal cords. <laughs> I know they could talk to me if they wanted to. Well, what do you think that noise is when you get them sucked up? You know, what, what, what kind of voice do you think a spider would have? Like, what celebrity voice do you think would pair with spider if you could put a voice with a spider? Let us know in the comments. I don't know. I mean, it depends on what kind of spider. Just like the biggest, gnarliest spider you can imagine. Like, what type of voice would it have? Like a huge garden spider. I mean, we have Aragog. With squishy legs. I mean, Darth Vader's voice is kind of taken. Just rinsing the brush. I'm going to work this watercolor a little bit. I know, I know, Shh. but I'm busy. What are you doing? Um, I was reading through the comments to see if there was anything I missed. Was there? Um, Janice says, Carl Connie is the male brand of baby fat. Former model Kimora Lee Simmons is the CEO. I don't know what any of those things are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how out of touch we are. Um, let's see. Jenna says, we had a pile of tree trimmings. I need to be bundled and I haven't wanted to touch it <laughs> because I don't know what's living underneath. And that is how we get through life. Trisha thinks Arnold Schwarzenegger would be a good voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Vin Diesel, if it's Big Spider. Um, if it's a cute spider, probably Elijah Wood. <laughs> um, I could see that. I, I could had, see that. I had such a crush on him growing up. Missy Lulu says, hello, lovelies. Late to the party. Love the portrait. Reminds me of Woodland Nymph. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't draw her this year. Uh, what? Who? I, I have my like Woodland Nymph that I kind of draw throughout the seasons. Remember, I was going to well, draw What are you even doing with your life then? Living it to the fullest. Eating pastries. Um, Jenna says, I would think the spider's voice would sound like Matt Hamill doing the Joker in the Batman, or Mark Hamill doing the <laughs> Joker in the Batman cartoon. I could see that. Yeah. A little crazy. <laughs> yeah. What would be a very, like, unorthodox, like, unexpected voice? I'm trying to think. What is this? Who does the spider's voice in Charlotte's Web? Oh, God, I don't know. Probably a voice actor. Thank you. I'm just kind of filling in the white space. And then I want to soften this little edge. I think it'd be funny if the spider's voice was played by the same guy who played James' voice in Pokemon. Pokemon. I'm always the man. Can you imagine? I mean, I, I don't have to because I have you. Where are the flies? Oh, my God. <laughs> Rocky's playing this game. He's playing Elden Ring and... Uh, his new move now is like this shout. So like, oh, it's hilarious. No I matter can't. where I'm in the house, it's like, ah, <laughs> ah. That's like his attack move. It's just, ah. It's the funniest thing. Like, I can't get enough of it. You just walk up to a group of people and scream at them and they all die. It's like, like life what? is not that way. I'm just like, what is this nonsense? I don't know. It's pretty funny though. All right. That might be it for the Don't worry. They're undead. Thing. Okay. I'm not killing innocents. Just. Although I found out that the jellyfish characters in the game are all the, the spirits of dead children, which was very, like, disturbing. Yeah, I mean, that's somebody's, like, I think they, it's their theory, but... Well, either way, I, I don't... I, that wouldn't be a stretch for Elden Ring. That is true. Gonna come back in with colored pencils, gonna make your eyes pop. Although I could also see, like, the guy who plays Sheldon, what's his name? Sheldon. Shel What's it, that actor's name? I can't. I'm sorry. I should know his name. Anyway, I could see a spider having his voice too. You know it's gonna bug me. Somebody tell us. I can't remember. Here, I'm look Jenna, don't look it up. I'll do it. No, no, no. I, oh, give me a hint. I want to figure it out. I want to feel good about myself. Okay, today. I'll give you a hint. One second. Um, because he was on. Um, he was in. Was it for the boys or something? I haven't seen that movie, so don't. No spoilers. Ah. Okay. Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. So your hint is. Um, it's on par with some other names. That's the hint. Okay. It's on Parsons. Par. Oh, okay. You got the last name. Jim? Yep. Good job. Damn it, I Jim. Gonna, <laughs> I was going to give you like an office teaser, mm. but no. Um, I didn't Jenna says it. he was in Hidden Figures. Ooh. I have not seen that either. Um, 
Ba-dum, bum, bum. Hearts Family Art um, says, maybe the spider would sound like Whoopi Goldberg in Sister Act. Oh my God, I love that movie. I do too. I actually have a picture on my phone that's in the favorite <laughs> section, which I'll pull up right now, that anytime we talk about it, I feel like I have to look at it. Because there is just a random scene in the movie. And I was like, really? What's happening? Because she looks right at the camera and then gives, it's like the only time she looks at the camera and gives the most awkward face. <laughs> I, I just was like, what's happening? I anyway, adore, I adore her. I love her. I worship her. Well, and not really, but no. she's cool. Um, what else do we miss here? Um, Denise says Debbie Reynolds voice, the original Charlotte's Web, and then Julia oh. Roberts in the live version. That's cool. I didn't realize it was Debbie Reynolds. Good old Debs. There is, if you like Sister Act, by the way, there is a Sister Act musical. I like the Broadway. Listen to the soundtrack. It is so good. <laughs> so good. I haven't seen it's it, funny. but I've definitely heard it many, many times. We've listened to it. When we lived in Portland, we used to drive up to Seattle like I don't know, once in a while. We'd always listen to it on the way up. It's fun. Makes me laugh. It was one of those where like, what are we going to listen to next? Because we didn't listen to Kesha like way too much. And Kimball's like, let's just listen to musicals. And I was like, well, what musical are we going to listen to? And then he's like, put the first random one on. And I was like, well, this is happening. I was like, obviously it's Sister Act. Which Rocky hadn't seen until recently. What? Sister Act. No, I've seen it. I haven't seen part two. Right. Well, I, I made you watch it. Mm hmm. I mean, not part two. Obviously. We're going to watch that one, though. It's good. What's another movie that I haven't seen that I should see? I feel like sometimes there's movies when you're like, oh, you know that movie? And people are like, oh, I haven't seen that. You're like, what? You haven't seen Labyrinth or Goonies or Neverending Story? And you just feel like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people nowadays don't really appreciate like Goonies and stuff because they don't have, they didn't live that life. Like the adventures of the 80s where you go out on your bike and just explore. I don't accept that. Well. No, I, I get it. It's yeah. fine. Whatever. They're More like, fun for me. I know. They're like, why is this fun? Like, why do you like this movie? But then they like Stranger Things. So what do you mean? Well, that's like a total fantasy thing. That's not that. I don't know. It's different. I know. It's different. Parts Family Art says, wow. Thank you. Those eyes are beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'd like to say I modeled them after my own, but I didn't. Okay, we need to know where Andrea's son went to high school because apparently her son played a nun in the sister act in high school. That is that is random. Also, who, which one of our friends, like, it was just so random. I was like talking about sister act two and he was like, oh, by the way, my aunt played this character in the movie. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? And then I found out she passed away and I was kind of sad about oh. that. It was a little sad. Was it Joe's? Ant or something? I, I don't have remember. No clue. Don't remember, but I, it was just very random. I'm trying to see if I missed any comments here. You probably did. Um, Jana says, "I would. What would you do if the spider's voice sounded like Bette Midler's as Winifred from Hocus Pocus? <laughs> I think I would keep it uh, for sure in a jar. No, no, no. I would be like, this is your corner of the room. Don't come from. Don't don't leave it." Or at least if you do, don't make sure make sure I don't see leaving it. Because Kimball's gonna get you. <laughs> hearts down the hearts all baby Ruth. <laughs> yes. I smell ice cream. <laughs> I love chunk. Do it. <laughs> it's like a little truffle shuffle. Her and her autumnal brows. I don't think this color is really gonna show up. A little bit. All right. You have 17 viewers, Kimball. 17. 17. Teen, teen, teen. That means you got to take a sip from the 17 cup. Okay. It's their cup because it's their like teen colors. Like Wait, what own. are their colors? It's Serenity and Rose Quartz? Yeah. It's not really Serenity though, right? The color on this mug, it's close. It's close. Then it was a little purplier, I think. Yeah. But I mean, I got the it. actual color is purplier. This is more blue. Yeah, but that's all right. It is all right. If it makes you happy. If it makes me happy. Blah, 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 you know what a really good soundtrack is? Remember Natalie Imbruglia? 
Is that a soundtrack or is from that um, an album? What's it? I'm trying to think of what the song is called. Crumbs. I'm a lot of faith. What is that song called? Torn. Torn. Is, what's the album called though? Do you remember? No. Oh well, there you go. Let us know in the comments <laughs> what album that's from. Nothing's fine. I'm torn. I'm a lot of faith. This is how I feel. Wait, Kimmel, can you just do that into that? No. Phone here, just get right in there. I have a very hard time singing without music. Okay, I go well. off key a lot. Do you? I mean, I don't mind. I don't think anyone minds. If you're having fun, that's all that matters. Mm, I say that about art, but I don't know about singing. Okay. Because singing, other people hear that and they're like, um, what are you doing over there, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. That's not the time for that. Shh. <laughs> Life is for living, not for worrying about what other people think. Well, all right. Unless it comes to clothing. Oh my God. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the comments are awfully quiet, guys. Okay. What are we going to do? Well, about I that? started singing. They're all like, oh, how do I let him they know? They were all listening intently and didn't have time to write because they were so mesmerized. Yeah, they were like, how do I tell him to shut up? And I'm fine with that. But in emojis. <laughs> <laughs> If everyone, I have a fun challenge for everyone. If you could describe your week using the emojis in the comments, that would be great. And I will interpret how your week went based on the emoji that you sent in. Are you going to do the same? Me? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Exactly. Don't you throw out these But I'm, I'm not going to do it until I get at least four emojis in. Well, that'll get them. <laughs> I don't think anybody really cares, Rocky, what you did. That's true. What did we do? I mean, don't tell anyone. We got to wait. Uh, all this waiting. Watching the clock. It's four oh, Denise. o'clock. Somewhat followed the rules, but she sent in four emojis. So that can get a little confusing. It's supposed to be one emoji, Denise. Just one. I don't know. I approve of But four. I accept. Okay. So we have the smiley heart eyes, the crying emoji, the one in the with the girl in purple with her hands up next to her face going, huh? And then like the vomit one. Or it's a small vampire. I can't tell. It's so tiny. Okay, uh, people are just going crazy with emojis. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say that Denise fell in love with um, a random person who was hitchhiking that she picked up. And then she heard their life story. And it was really sad. So she started crying. And then um, at one point, they got really loud. So she put her hands up to like cover her ears. And then she, they got road sick because they were sitting in the back seat And they had to vomit. So she had to pull over and let them out. Oh, that was sweet. So that's how that's what Denise did this week. Um, Girl, that is a lot. Hearts Family Art sent. Oh God, I don't even know how to describe what was sent. There's a lot of purple monkeys and some dabbing <laughs> and then a stop sign. What is it? Okay, where do you live? <laughs> okay, so basically, she went into um, bingo. She was playing bingo, and people were coughing all around her. So oh, she used hand sanitizer, out. and she was like. What are all these like traveling monkeys? And then she dipped <laughs> afterwards. Okay. okay, and that's what happened to her. Um, Jenna slept. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how are you feeling, Jenna? Are you better? Are you over it? We already covered this earlier, and I didn't tell you. The she's big... feeling better, but she's just taking it easy. Okay, well, that's good. Um, I feel informed. Trisha Brown um, spent her week doing the YMCA. Uh, um, Holly became a clown, and that she put a little red clown nose that for her thing. She became a clown. She went to the hospital and was donating her time. Fun. That's sweet. To the children. That was very nice of Holly. Good job, Holly. Um, Lyra worked out and competed in a national um, workout competition oh, where she took won. second place. Hey. That means you're the best at losing. But it's okay <laughs> because she lost to her aunt who's been working on it longer. And she was okay. really proud of her aunt for that. So, Aww. and then Denise. Supporting the family. That's nice. What did Denise do? Wow. What didn't Denise do? I mean, she's a busy gal. She went to um, a marathon. And, you know, like when you, you hand out the water to people going by, she yep. didn't do that. She was giving thumbs ups. Well, that's supportive to all the people that went by so she was like thumb. they went to like reach for water and said she just held She's like, like no nope, up you're doing good and then they just went on you know exhausted because they didn't have any water i mean at that point i just stopped 
Oh, okay. And, and Andrea says um, she looked at cat videos and drank wine. <laughs> yes. Lovely. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Sounds lovely. She had the best week of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> did I get it right for anyone? I think I did. I think I was pretty close. I mean, it sounded pretty accurate from what I could hear. Jenna says, I love your interpretations, Rocky. Shouldn't it be misinterpretations? Oh, wait, we have another one from Ashti. Um, oh, Ash went camping and it rained. Oh, like hurricane rain? <laughs> Could have been. But they went boating and it got wet. Was that by choice or is it because it flooded? And they, they drifted away in the floodwaters in the boat. But they have Wi-Fi and that's how she's watching us now. And she's actually asking for help. But here we are <laughs> guessing what she did on the weekend. <laughs> Scraps to Beauty by Zondra says, hi, Kim on Rocky. Yeah, yeah, hi. give us emojis for how your week went. <laughs> hey, we're interpreting everyone's week with emojis. Okay, that's what you got to do. We're not here for the art. Oh, <laughs> why am I even here? Just then? kidding, you're fine. <laughs> Keep going, Kim. Oh, you. thank you. No, I feel supported. Andrea says, I want you to plan my weeks for me. Oh, <laughs> careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. I want to Notice how I said, careful witch. what you wish for. Oh my God, it's the season. Talking. Almost my birthday month. I want to kind of like add either some pink edge. I don't know if that'll be too much though, but we're going to try. Ash says, just a little bit of rain. We didn't drown. Well, that's good. That's good. Just enough to get your hair all frizzy. Mm. Um, Catherine says, oops, sorry, I'm late again. Oh, quite all right. That's okay, Catherine. You're here just in time where um, I'm guessing how everyone's week did, how everyone's week went um, <laughs> by the emojis they're sending in. So if you want to participate, just send all the emojis you want describing how your week went. I'll try to interpret that. All right. I don't want to go overboard with that. Although I might want to, I don't know what that is. An electric shadow. I mean, am I done? Like, I don't know what to do now. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? <laughs> Where are my glasses? I don't remember which pen I said I was going to use. I think I said I was going to use the, uh... Oh, Catherine slept. And she dreamt that she was a unicorn flying through Montana mountains okay. at sunset. That sounds like a lot. But then her dream quickly turned into she was on a flight to Paris, but they landed on the wrong airport and she couldn't get the train in. So anyway, I got a new Sharpie. <laughs> It's one of the ones that Jenna gave me forever ago, and it's been hiding. <gasps> so, I probably have to pump out the ink, pump it out. That sounds disgusting. Ew. Catherine said, I didn't sleep. I ran out of um, painkillers for my back, but I like your brushes oh. so much better. <laughs> That's awful. That doesn't sound bad. Just giving the paint pen a couple pumps. Oh, it's a brand new paint pen. It's so juicy, juicy. Um, Hearts Family Heart says, beautiful, Kimball. Wow. Thank she you. pops out of the leaves. Thanks. I think I need to... Andrea says, you can't be finished yet. I just started drinking my cup of coffee. <laughs> well, I'll just do things, you know. We'll just keep... It reminds me of when I... I think I already told this story, but when I was in high school, this girl wasn't ready for her... I don't even know what we were doing. Demonstrations of... She wasn't just... ready for this jelly. <laughs> it's just demonstrations for stuff. And she asked me if I could just continue with mine. From, like stretch out as long as oh, I could. Oh, she was like, she wanted you to buy her time. Yeah, so I went for twenty minutes to the end of class so that she didn't have to do it that day. Oh my God, what did you end up talking about? I drew a giant charcoal portrait <laughs> as part of the presentation. Yeah, I was like showing how to draw with charcoals. Was that what you were supposed to be doing anyway, or did you just be like, hey guys? Now that the report's done, I want to draw this face. No, no, no. There was no report. Like it was just that was what you were doing. It was drawing. Like we all had our we all had to do a demonstration of some kind. Okay, and you're like now it's suddenly going to be pointillism or stippling. No, I was like I'm going to show you how to draw a charcoal face, which I could draw really quickly. Well, if you could do that, then you can just do that in the next ten minutes probably, and help us buy time until we get to the full hour. I don't know where my charcoals are. Oh, I know. Hmm. Catherine says, I'm always mesmerized by the eyes you create. Thank you. I love creating eyes. They're very fun. I think a lot of people really like drawing eyes. I've noticed like that's like a thing and I am no exception. 
Eyes and lips, I think they're fun. All right, don't want to do anything crazy with the white. We'll just put you over there. We love you. Thanks. Well, eyes are the windows to the garden. Um, you're not allowed to talk anymore. Okay, got it. Just kidding. Catherine says, I used to draw goth eyes, but they weren't very realistic. Well, they don't have to be. You should do a goth character, Kimball. That'd be fun. Uh -huh. Don't right. you think? Totally. Is that a chicken wing? I'm not sure. I'm just adding is that a little... rib. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what yeah. is it? What are you talking about? Remember in um, yeah. Adam and Steve? Yeah. She's like, the guy's all, is that a rib? She's like, yeah, you want one? Oh, yeah, yeah. She like pulls it out of her purse. I'm just adding little bits of turquoise around. You don't really notice it until you start looking at the piece. Like, I don't want them to be too in your face. You have to go looking at them like Waldo. And, and where's Waldo? Yeah. Where's Teal? There it is. What is that color called? This is aquamarine. Where's light aquamarine? aqua. Where's light aqua? L'aqua. Oh, I didn't use this color. Let's add some. Let's kind of like add a little shading into this. Not shading, but we're adding a little green hue to the browns because there's still some green. I guess I could do this with watercolor, but I pulled the green pencil out, so do what I want. Do a little green there, and we'll add a little green up in this reddish area. Keeping it subtle. Kind of bringing it into the face just a little bit. Not really noticeable, but it's there. We know it's there. We saw. All right. I think she's done. Ooh. I'm sad. But she turned out nice. She so did. Good job. That makes Claps me Claps for Kimball. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I like it. it. I really like it. Not those crappy galaxy chocolates that expired months ago. You know what? I should actually take those back and be like, hey, yeah. I noticed these... Oh, we're taking them back. Are you kidding me? I'm like, hi, these tasted like ass. And they'll be like, where's your receipt? And I'll be like, Kimball, why didn't you keep the receipt? Mark doesn't let me. It's because I threw it away, but yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think they'll take it back. I also peeled the sticker off of it because... Trisha and I mean. Jenna gave you three claps each. <gasps> three claps and Thanks. a tap for artwork like that. Thank you. Two snaps <laughs> and a clap. Whatever. I was just trying to like make it relevant. I have no chocolate. I'm like very upset about this. All right. So yeah, your charcoal drawing in ten minutes go. No, I don't have. I don't have a charcoal. Where are they? I don't know. Kimble, everything is right to. here in your room. Ten minutes. We have eight minutes, and I'm not. You can I don't totally do this, honey, baby cakes. Honey, baby, honey, no. baby cakes. Honey, baby, I don't. No. I don't have my charcoals, and I don't have the proper paper for the charcoal. The charcoal. All right, well, Kim, if you do me a favor, yes, just my love. flip those lights back on. We're going to go. Uh, why do I have to get up? Your camera like stand. Right I'm holding there. the camera. Oh, uh, there we are. That's that's what we're looking for. And down. Now, when I look at her like this, I think precious. <laughs> Ow! What happened? What well, did you do? It didn't really hurt. I just my pajamas got caught there, and I was like trying to kneel in it. Didn't oh, you got your beard going on, Kimball. I know, I'm really sure the greatest. I totally want to dye it, but see, when I dye my beard, I just do it for fun. I'm not having, like, you know, issues with my age. Come on. People. Sure. <laughs> um, no, it's funny, though, because, like, I'll dye my beard, and I'm like, oh, it's brown. It looks weird, and it's, like, overly done. And then I buzz it off, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's gray. Like, what happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like, no, it's too shocking. It's like, and you're your age. You're and done. You're done. All right, let's see the piece. So, Go ahead and hold it up real quick. Mm. Oh, Campbell. Oh, thank you. Another one for the fridge. But on thumb. All right, you can put her put her down. Actually, hold her up. I want to get some close ups. I want to see what she looks there. like. Oh, look at the eyes. Look at them. There they are. Oh, sorry. That was the cord running across the microphone. A little. She just got a little acne, but that's fine. She'll be good. Never mind. It's just leaf dirt. That's better. <laughs> that's what happens. There's your the little Jane apron chilling up there, getting. Lots of use. Well, I originally, because we had those beige curtains, you know, I can't handle the beige. So I put that up there and I like kind of like would open it. So it'd be like this shock of the color to the side. But now it's like just, it needs a hint of color now. Light goes that way. All right. What else do you want to do? That was fun. It sure was. Oh, we can show this. I haven't shown, like, this is artwork that was hanging up in the hallways and stuff. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So like they never actually got to see those. Since we can't hang our artwork up here, like... Kim, okay, I'm sorry. Kimball earlier was saying he can't draw leaves, but let's just point out that he can draw that. 
He can okay. draw that. Lots of reference. He there. can draw. Also, using doing digital, it's super easy because you You're can correct done. everything. You're done. You can correct things so easily. And those two pieces, my friend Nick did the pencil sketches. Nick or N I C K O R R. If you want to look them up on, actually, I might be Cordell or on Instagram. But he did the pencil sketches of those two pieces, and then I did the digital versions of them. Nice. What else do you want to share in here while we're while we're sharing? Share, share. Oh, I was gonna ask. Um, should I get a Mooka coloring book? Because I saw one, but I'm scared because I can't test the paper. I have to just order it. But I was like, I love Mooka, so it'd be fun to color some of those. I'm not doing like those like five hundred thousand little teeny tiny image, you know. Zen tangle coloring things because I don't have the time. Ain't nobody got time no. for that. So if you have recommendations, put them in the comments. Um, there was also another one. A lot of people said the paper was thin, but I'm like, I kind of want to try it. It's an Amazon one, and it's a uh, dark horse goes dark zodiacs, I think, or something. And they draw. Uh, I think it's a woman. She draws like a male version, a female version, and then like animals. I think. I think is what it was. I'm not 100. percent Catherine says Kirby Roseanne art books. Kirby Roseanne art books. I don't have anything to write down. I know. If there was just a pencil around that you could write down with. There we go. Piece of paper. Just, oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Kirby Roseanne. This is how I'm spelling it. I'm sure. R-O-S-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. R-O-S-K-E-R-B-Y. A-N-N-E. -E. There you go. Kirby Roseanne coloring book. So yeah, if you have recommendations, I don't want like the millions of little pictures to make the picture. I want like, I prefer people. We almost got a Game of Thrones one. And then we were close. like... Mm. I was like, I never watched it. I watched the first season and I was so mad at it. Like it was done really <laughs> well. Like it was, that's like, I was so annoyed that like my favorite character was taken out at the end. I was like, um, I hate this, but like, well done. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, fun, whimsical stuff. I like... Just one end, she says. Just one. cross that one off, Kimball. That is not... That does not go there. Good job. Now it's like Rosanix. Isn't that like an... We're never going to find that's it now. That's a medication, right? Xanax? Probably. I think so. Um, we'll find out in the next 10 years. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully it has good paper, because that is a thing. Because I do want to do more than just colored pencils, even though that is my favorite thing to do in colored books and coloring books um but it does take a very long time as you know it took me like an hour and a half to do the last couple uh but yes i do want to do portrait stuff i'm probably just gonna get the mooka one just because i should um hearts family art says hannah carlson hannah h-a-n-n-a -N -N -A. wait wait whoa 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 well, i know how to spell hannah -N 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 -N. i know how to spell hannah you never know it could be h-a-n-a-h carlson or sen well or you're sen. already off to a wrong track because it's k did it right? A R L S O N. S O N. Hannah Carlson. Are these on Amazon? Hearts on the says, don't leave, guys. Okay. Um, are these on Amazon or do I need to get them from a particular You can store? Google it. You can do the work. You well, I'm can. Gonna, I'm going to go to Hobbycraft tomorrow and see what they have. I don't know if they even have coloring books. I'm assuming they do. Um, I've only been there twice. Once was I didn't get something. The second time I went back and got what I didn't get the first time. So, and it was running in to get a heat gun that I don't like because it makes, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Because it makes my, it makes my paint boil. <laughs> <laughs> it totally did. It kind of freaked me out. I was like drying it. I was like, oh, I dried it. And then it's all, and it like burst out. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so that was a little frightening. Kimball, is this a sample unit from Ikea? Would you say? I think so. I think. I think we so. got it because we're like, it's okay. It'll be on its side and that'll be facing down. Well, it was supposed to be on its side in here, but. Rocky's like, I'm going to put my desk right there. So, ruined everything. Yeah. Took up all the space with this huge Sharing desk. Sharing is fun. It's caring. Um, so, yes, I will look into those. Here's, uh, here's the piece that Kimball's working on, by the way, just so we can see a sense of scale. I mean, you can see the edge. You kind of see where you're going with that. Oh, the edge. Sorry, what were you saying? Of glory. Uh, yes, I will look into those coloring books. Thank you for the recommendations. And... <sighs> if I find something at Hobbycraft that I like, I'll probably get that too. And yes. And if there's any like amazing stamp portrait stamps or stencils, let me know. I'll look into those as well. And just stuff that you guys may already have too. So that way you can like art along with me. I mean, that's more fun, right? And I think that's about it. Good job, so, Campbell. Thank you all for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. 
And yes, I will try. I'm like, I'll try to remember that the first Sundays of the months will be for coloring books and stencils and stamps and stuff like that. And if you have any other things that you guys want me to do, let me know. Uh, like, I don't know if you want me to use a certain... <laughs> What's happening? If you want me to use like a certain like art supply or something, I'm open. I also just got, oh, where are they at? I haven't used them yet. I just got these, the Paul Rubens. I mean, I had FOMO, like a lot of people have been using them over the years. And I was like, I don't want them. And I don't know why, because for the longest time I was like, Paul Rubens, isn't that Pee Wee Harmon? Which it is, but also it's not the same Paul Rubens. So yes, I'm excited. I mean, okay, I got it for the case. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're brand new. I haven't opened them yet. So still I'm gonna, their little cases. Oh. I'm gonna dig into those. I am not gonna swatch. I don't swatch because uh, I started actually swatching in books. And then I realized like I use a lot of different papers and these work differently on a lot of like they just look different on different paper. So that's why I swatch on like, the opposite side of the page that I'm working on. If you're wondering, if you're not wondering, I'm sorry, I wasted your time. But now you know a little more about me. You're welcome. I also got some, I believe this is the same paper in this journal. I painted that on there. It doesn't actually look like it. it looks more like that. Um, but it's the Paul Rubens, like it's sparkly watercolor paper. Not a hundred percent, but it looks very similar. And I just, I it was on like a discount thingy. So I got them both. I'm welcome. Scraps TV by Zondra says, bye everyone. Bye. She's like, I'm out. You're done. You're done. <laughs> okay. Um, Paul Rubens makes JD sparkling watercolor journal paper. Missy says. All right. Yep. That's why I just. And done. then what else have I missed here? Blah, 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 blah. Nobody knows. Denise says, gouache, please. Oh God. Denise, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I personally do not like gouache, which is funny. What <sighs> did you just say? Well, Bear with. So layer cakes are somewhat similar to gouache. I love layer cakes. Now, when it comes to gouache, I don't like gouache in a tube. And the only ones I have are from Arteza. And I put them in a palette. They all just dried up, which that's fine. But then they like broke off and just went missing askew. So that was annoying. But I can. I can just, I'll just use them like acrylics. I'm not going to do anything amazing with them because. I don't like them that much. Also, you I can paint nature and, and some kind of cityscape, Kimball. You can paint like an Italian. Well, I prefer these. Um, I think people like gouache because it's matte, and these are super matte. And I know I'm always hawking Jane Davenport supplies, but it's because I really like it. Um, but also, I can draw on top of the acrylic or the gesso better than I can with gouache because gouache is kind of chalky and it like lifts up and whatever. But for you, Denise. I might. <laughs> Jenna says, do you not like watercolor gouache or acrylic gouache? Are we talking to me? I don't, maybe. Um, I haven't used acrylic gouache, but I have done paintings with watered down acrylics that turned out just fine, which I really liked. And it's the same property, except for they don't dry matte, which I don't know if acrylic gouache does. But anyway. Ash D says, layer cakes win. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I can, I'll, I'll definitely do some painting with layer cakes. Um, I got a lot of paintings in here with it. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, and it's just because I'm lazy, is that layer cakes and gouache and a lot of other products, like they cross transfer. And that's also why I don't do drawings on the opposite pages because I don't like cross transfer stuff. It just does little um, like woodland creatures in, little... in blobs. Right. So for this though, I might actually do like a little watercolor something because that doesn't transfer pages. I like to keep them pretty clean, but I don't spray. And I started doing that. Um... You're like a new dirt cat. Gross. Okay. <laughs> uh, I started spraying with the... What is it called? The finishing spray? Whatever it is. Yeah. Um, the fixative. Yes. Thank you. Fixative. But when we moved, I couldn't bring aerosol cans. They wouldn't pack aerosol cans. So I had to get rid of all my aerosol stuff. Although air fresheners came through. Why? I don't know. They're also like, you can't take batteries with you. So they unpacked a ton of batteries and like threw them away, but then they kept loose batteries. So I was very confused. Yeah. I was whatever. It's like I, it all makes sense. Whatever. Whatever. You know, what, you know what that means. We're here now and we bought colorful batteries. So. When the conversation turns to batteries, it means it's time for the outro. So music. long, farewell, Avita Zena do. Not the song, because it's like, why? Why do I do this to you? Leaves, am I right? I don't know. All right. She works out in the leaves at night. She's going to get you. Bye, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> <laughs>